Wagamera. Okay. 47-year-old Sarah Mwangi has lived with HIV for 23 years now, but her zeal to keep the virus at bay hangs in the balance. It is worth to know that ARVs have helped many people to stay normal lives, get children, and even uh, run their jobs as normal. They are also voters. We vote for the government. The mother of one just found out that she has cancer of the vulva as a result of antiretroviral drugs shortage. I heard about it when I was in Eldoret, going through radiotherapy treatment. Uh, this cancer that I'm having is an opportunistic infection. And like anybody else, I had a lot of fear and anxiety. And when I went to social media, it was the same thing that was going on, that there are no drugs. She is among the 1.5 million Kenyans whose lives are at risk. You know, it eats you slowly. And when you are swept away, you leave your family in a lot of, a lot of you know, disorganization. While the government is making strides to solve the crisis, HIV patients may have to wait a little longer. There are cases that I saw where someone has exhausted their refill, they don't have money to go to the CCC. And the person is using drugs that are not in their regimen, which is very dangerous. Despite the national government having paid a tax of 850 million shillings, the Chemonix company, which was mandated to serve as a channel of drugs import to Kenya by U.S. Agency for International Development, USAID, has remained silent. On Thursday, the Ministry of Health submissions before the National Assembly Health Committee indicated that there may be tensions between the Kenyan and U.S. governments, the situation brought about by USAID's lack of confidence in KEMSA. While strongly condemning the lack of transparency in KEMSA, same Member of Parliament Dr. James Nikal cites the current state as a blow to the health sector. Please, our government, we love you so much. Stop taxing ARVs and release them to the CCCs. That's what we need to hear. In less than five months, the quantity of antiretroviral drugs may be depleted as drugs worth 2.7 billion shillings have been at the port for two months now. Up until now, no specific date has been given as to when relief will befall HIV and AIDS patients. Ben Kerera K24, Evening Edition.